This air bubble material is available on Patreon now if you're interested. Otherwise, stay tuned for the tutorial. Also, at the end of the tutorial, I'll talk about a new live session I'm going to be teaching, so stay tuned if that interests you as well. Today we're going to be looking at how to create air bubbles in an object. It's actually a pretty simple process. So let's hop into our scene right here. So you can see here that we have our sphere here just lit with a background. So we're going to start with a new material. And this is going to be a combination of a material and particle effects, but should work for most objects. So let's go ahead and click new material here. And first of all, we need to give ourselves an object that has some transmission so that we can see through it and see the air bubbles. So let's just crank that transmission up to one and you can see that it's kind of fuzzy and that's because of the roughness. So we're gonna create that roughness now. And now we can now see through the bubble there. So I'm gonna go ahead, give it a little bit of transmission roughness, maybe about 0.15. That'll give us a little bit of a texture there. And then I'm gonna go ahead, add a noise texture here. I'm gonna crank the scale up to something really high, like 5,000. Then I'm gonna go ahead, add a bump node here. And I'm just doing this to give us a little bit extra texture and make those air bubbles pop a little bit more. So we're gonna move this here into the normal, hit 0 0.0, maybe five, give that a really tiny kind of bump to give us a little bit of texture there. We're gonna go ahead, add a color ramp here. Then what we're gonna do is grab this factor, move it into the factor here, take this color, put it into the roughness. We'll see that that mostly disappears because we kind of have mostly white on our color ramp here. So we're gonna grab this color ramp and drag that down just a bit. And with that, we kind of have more of kind of a glossy, glassy look, which will give us more of an amber material. So we'll go ahead and pick maybe, maybe a green for kind of a goopy material, or if you want, you can kind of go more of an orange for an amber. I'm gonna kind of stick with the green because it'll be a little bit easier to see the air bubbles. So now we have a sphere. So let's go ahead and add a particle system. And let's just call this air bubble. And we're gonna turn this into a hair. And you're gonna see everything goes kind of crazy for a minute there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hide this sphere here. We're going to go shift A, we're going to add another sphere. So I'm just gonna do a little icosphere or UV sphere. I'll do a UV sphere. Then I'm gonna tab into edit mode here. And what we wanna do is flip the normal. So if we come up here and click this button up here, we can turn on our face orientation. And we can see here that it's blue because the normals are facing correctly. So if we select this here and we type in flip normals into the search field, it will flip it and you want everything to be red. So we're gonna go ahead, turn off face orientation, go back to object mode. And let's just scale this way down. So I'm gonna scale this down to be pretty small, so right around there. And then we're just gonna go ahead, grab this and just drag it off camera so it's not in our view anymore. So up here, we kind of have our main thing, which I've named Goo, and we're gonna go ahead and name this sphere Particle. Then what I'm gonna do is turn back on our original sphere here with the kind of crazy hair sticking out right now. And down here in the render tab of the particles, we're gonna grab that path, we're gonna turn that into an object. We're gonna take that instance object here, we're going to select particle. And we're gonna see that this particle appears all over there. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna come up here, grab this particle, we're going to give it the same material as our goop. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give that the same material there. And then what we're going to do is come back to the particle tab with our object selected here. And we're gonna come down to our source. So if by default, it should be set to emit from faces and you make sure you're clicked on here one more time. And we're gonna go down here and change this emit to volume. And what that's going to do is put that inside of the object. And you can see here, because the normals are flipped and it shares the same glass material and it's inside, it's giving this air bubble look. But we can enhance this a bit by kind of playing with some of the random settings. So we're gonna come down here and we have our scale here, which is set to quite small at 0.05. I'm gonna go ahead, up this to maybe 0.15 and you can see that gives us some bigger bubbles. Let's come down here, take the scale randoms, crank this all the way up to one. I think we have too many bubbles. So up here at the number, you can control how many bubbles you have. So right now by default, it's at 1000. So let's go ahead, take that, bring that down to maybe like 250, maybe even less. I'm gonna do 150 and I think that looks pretty good. And then you can come down here to the jittering amount 
which is set to one, and this is in the source section. Let's go ahead and turn that jitter up. And you can see that that's kind of taking things out from the center because when it comes from the volume, it kind of defaults from the center. And by turning that jittering amount up, you can kind of jitter where it's coming from in the volume and you can see we get more of a natural look. So I'm gonna go ahead and make these particles maybe a bit smaller. I'm gonna do 0.1. And with that, you can kind of see that we have a pretty good air bubble look. I used this in some of my previous animations and tutorials, and a lot of people were curious how they did the air bubbles. And again, these files are available on Patreon. I also just wanna mention that I have a Skillshare class live session tomorrow, meaning that I will be teaching in a live stream and we'll be walking through how to make this little frog model here. If that's something you're interested in learning how to do, check out the link in the description below where you can see my Skillshare and follow me. That'll be tomorrow at 7 a.m. PST. As usual, thanks for watching. Tag me on Instagram at Southern Shoddy, and I love seeing what you create from these tutorials, and oftentimes I'll share them on my page as well.